stories are about tall, handsome guys struggling with the burden of being handed even more power. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm Wookie Be Bad, and I got this video here I want to drop. So Velma's come out. Ugh, this school sucks. And it's done pretty bad. Some would call it a dumpster fire. However, I didn't expect it to bomb this bad. I figured it would be raised up and championed. Uh, but less than 24 hours of it coming out, we were already getting, you know, articles of review bombing. Uh, like these outlets already had this stuff prepared, which I'm sure they did. They always do. What shocked me was there are YouTubers trashing this show that would usually champion something like this. Uh, when the new trailer dropped, the comments were turned off. The ads on Twitter have comments disabled. It's not looking good for Velma. It currently sits at a 1.5 on IMDb, has a 7 audience score on Rotten Tomatoes, and a 0 0.4 on Metacritic, which is pretty low. These are all at the time of recording. Now, albeit some of us call this out faster than others, but it would seem that no one actually likes this show. There are a few loud voices on Twitter, but Twitter isn't a real place, so it doesn't count. But my thoughts behind this will be maybe this will wake people up. It's too much of everything. Uh, this might be a, the first step, the actual first step, because everyone's united in not liking this show. Uh, it might be the first step in a good direction of getting quality content. And by quality content, I'm talking about no political bias, a good story you can get involved in. Doesn't say that you can't absolutely not race swap a character. You can't do this. You can't do that. I mean, Billy D. Williams played Harvey Dent. And nobody cared. Nobody. People of Gotham City, I'm a man of few words. But those words will count, and so will my actions. Maybe this will wake people up. Maybe, but maybe not. It, to me, it's a good step in the right direction of possibly getting some good content. Uh, good content that everyone loves. And the ability to converse about things we love is the conversations we need to be having and not the political bias being injected into everything. Surely you have to remember the days of good television where you go to work and you'd have a conversation with a coworker that you have nothing in common with about a TV show or a movie. It, those were great things. These things brought us together and made us human beings, not political pawns or activists or whatever you want to be, you were just a normal person. That was the best thing about fandoms like Star Wars, Star Trek, Lord of the Rings, etc., etc. They brought everyone together from all walks of life. Everyone got together for the love of the content. And that's what people don't understand. Pop culture has more to do with us living day to day with each other than just sitting on the couch and watching TV. If everyone can enjoy it, Everyone can talk about it and it can help bring us together. You might actually meet somebody that changes the way you think about life through a television show by getting to know that person. But hopefully we'll get some good content. We'll be done with this. At least HBO Max should be learning from this. But at least one thing came out of this. We actually all held hands, a large majority of us, and agreed that this show is bad. Have you ever noticed how pilot episodes of TV shows always have more gratuitous sex and nudity than the rest of the series? That is the first step we need to take to getting back together. Let's get the band back together. Let's have fun. Let's enjoy pop culture, enjoy movies and TV. That's my thoughts on this. Feel free to drop a like, a follow, or let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm Wookie Be Bad. You have a good evening. Mm -hmm.